I can feel it now, the love is sending down Through the skies, your beautiful halo I caught you chasing the sun as I was chasing the one We never looked back from our lover road You show me I hope you guys are ready for today's stream, because I know I am. Well, I would say today's streams. We just literally streamed earlier to this morning. Um, but yeah, we're going to be hopping into this, so let's do that. Bam, we got to load back up our save. I should have done that already. I don't know why I waited till now. Um, so how are you guys doing? What is going on? Looking forward to some derps. I really... Oh, I see that... Uh, um... Knight said, uh, didn't finish watching the previous stream. It's okay. Really, you didn't miss much. Um, if you watched the first stream, then you should be good. Um, I didn't, I really didn't do that much at all. I discovered a couple of things, and, uh, that was about it. So, uh, I'll go over those two things. I really didn't do much with them, so. Uh, we got a lot, of, a lot to go over. And a lot to learn. I'm guessing that the majority of the stuff we need to find as of right now is around the ship. I don't know, though. We have a lot of adventuring to do. I don't know how big the map is. It just seems like it just keeps going forever. I think the farthest we've ventured out now is over 100 meters. Um, and that was me doing some scan research stuff to try and uh, find a bunch of stuff. So, I don't know. We have that to do today. So, now we just gotta wait for the long low time. I wish I, wish I had SSD. Oxygen production offline. I love how I'm wearing a, a Minecraft shirt, and uh, you can see right through the leaves and everything. Every Half the thing is green, so that's kind of funny. Uh, the game gives very uh, very little direction on what to do. You kind of got to explore and scan everything you see. That's, that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, trying, anyways. That's what I've been trying to do. Oh, man, we're almost there. We almost got this loaded up. There we go. So if you did miss the last stream, I just added I just added chess. I figured out you can actually type on here what is what. So I put health stuff, food stuff here. Um, I do have I want to put another storage right here. But like I said, uh, I don't think this is going to stay this way. I don't think I'm gonna keep all of this stuff like this. But uh, we did discover a whale, like a, a bunch of whales actually, and. Uh, Pretty nice. Oh, thank you, the uh, discu or Cuvus, um, or Dav Dav Cuvus. Um, thank you for the auto host. I know he's probably not here right now, but I really do appreciate when he does host. Awesome. 
So, let's jump into some things. So, what I did was I ended up getting this guy. And, uh, this thing is pretty interesting. I didn't, I, like, was able to suck fish up, um, and different things. Then I can shoot them. So, that's pretty nice. Press F8 to report bugs and give feedback. I didn't know you could even do that. So, yeah, I, I made this guy. Um, it's already running low on power. This thing uses a lot of power. And I guess, yeah, we can restore power with batteries. I did find some batteries, by the way. That was something that I did do. Let me pop over here. So, there was some things that I kind of wanted to make. Um, base attached air pump. I don't want that. Ladders, I don't want that. I wonder if ladders would... Ladders would be for the interior, right? Be for the inside. And I see we have a few other things that kind of unlock, like... Alien containment. And such, so... That is something that we... Kind of found. I did find another one of these just floating out in the middle of the, the ocean randomly. So what do we have in here? We have a lot of stuff. I kind of want to drop off a few things. And then we can kind of get started. The background looks fuzzy. It feels distant shadowing. What? The background looks fuzzy. What are we talking about? Or whatever it's called on. I don't know. Alright, um, let's put another locker. Well, we have this locker. I want another materials locker. These lockers are huge. Can I get this guy in here? Yes, I can. So there we go. We have another locker. Perfect. Um, it's a graphic setting. I actually didn't really look too much at the uh, graphic settings. I have everything maxed out, I think. Bloom. Lens dirt. Everything's literally set to as high as it goes. Water quality. Yeah, it goes as high as it goes. Depth of field? Do I need to turn that off? I like depth of field. Makes things far away look blurry. Yeah, I like that. It probably isn't helpful for me. But I kind of like that effect. Because it feels more realistic to me. Alright, so I was sorting stuff out. I keep getting distracted. That's something that I'm not very I'm not used to. Is uh chatting and stuff like that and getting distracted. So I was needing, like, I need more silver and things of those that nature. My water and food. I have two things of food on me. I wonder what this... I can cook some of these. Here we go. That's a new setting? I've played for years without it in-game. <laughs> How long has this game been out? I just literally started hearing about it. I'm guessing it's been out for a while then. It was early access around 2014. I bet a lot has changed then. If that's the case. Okay, so I want this guy one. I want this two. This three. Or knife three. Four. And five. And that should be fine. Perfect. Right? Because, so of course, we need this thing. Alright. So I need to do some exploring. 
And I wish it was actually night so I could find some of those bladder fish. They do kind of lurk around the bottoms. Areas right around here, from what I found. So I'll nab up some of them. What are you doing? Stop swimming. Just stop. Let me just let me take you. There we go. Thank you. You just went right in front of me. And thank you. So yeah, I'm I, I'm trying my best to collect as much of these things as possible. Because these things are very important to me since I do have a hunger and and water bar. I have enough food, it's just the water I seem to run out of the most. A tip you need to know about is the radio gives locations you need to go explore surrounding area and look for shipwrecks. I have done a few of those. I've done a few of them so far. Really key to the game to knowing where to go. I don't think I have a radio signal yet. Alright, so let's make some water bottles. I have a hard time getting comfortable in this chair while streaming. I almost need to, like, kind of relax. Instead, I feel so tensed. It's a little different being on camera. Something I'll get better with over time. So yeah, now we have a lot of water. Okay. Let's see, it just doesn't go a long way. That's for sure. I'm gonna keep some on me. I'm gonna go grab some more of those fish. Really trying hard not to splurge on that info. Oh, it's fine. The more info I know, the, the better. Man, it is really dark right now. Really dark. There they are. Those are so easy to find at night. With their lovely bioluminescence. We got some more laying around here somewhere. Where are you guys all at? There's a huge wreck near Life Pod 17 if you haven't found it already. Um, I don't know. I found a Life Pod that was kind of sticking up out of the water, but it was near the ship. I need to get that thing so I could set be uh, set locators. Oh, I have a radio transmission. I'll go ahead to that. Maybe we can get some locations. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for Whoa. Humans. Well, it's better than the alternatives. What's a sunbeam? It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Sunbeam. I don't have a Seamoth yet. No, I don't have a Seamoth yet. I still have to do the research for it. Oh, so I have to go way over here. Is that towards the ship? No, it's away from the ship. Yeah, I don't have that. I really want the Seamoth, though. It looks awesome. So there's some special fish that... I don't think I've collected yet. What is that? Hoop fish. What an interesting creature. I love that about this game. It's like whenever you think you've you've seen everything, you have it. You come across something totally different. All the sea moth parts are near Life Pod 23, I think. I don't remember where Life Pod 23 is. I don't know if that's a good thing. 
That is it's not probably not. I think it was that thing that was over to the left. I think I need to just head left. I think it was the part where they introduced the uh Oh, check your databank? Oh, I can do that. I wonder what this thing is supposed to be for. It says I have 30 minutes to get there, so I guess I can kind of... Oh, I have another radio transmission, of course. <coughs> man, oh man. So this is the Sunbeam landing site. Oh, sweet. This is an island. I hear a leviathan. I've already encountered a leviathan. Believe me. So what do I need to do here? I guess just scan everything I can, right? Um, at life pod four, right? I don't, I don't know what this is. The sunbeam landing site. I think I need those. I've seen people eating those. When I've watched, uh, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos. Yeah, the one floating upside down. That was the one near the ship. This is completely alien. The one floating upside down, I've that's where I encountered the I encountered the uh, Leviathan. That was horrifying. And then there was a bunch of these things. These crabs. Get out of here. Surprised you can't pick them up afterwards. Can you scan them though? I never tried to scan them. Ooh, cave crawler. That is some gross looking. Oh boy. This is crazy. Is there anything I need to be careful about while here? Yeah, I heard that sound under there, like a roar. I kind of have like 30 minutes to kind of explore this area, so... I hear a, like a low roar. Hmm. 
Alright, I'm out of here. I'm in Leviathan territory. That's awesome. I don't want to be there. <laughs> I don't want no piece of the Leviathan. Oh yeah, I gotta go out this way, don't I? Oh boy. Bad part about having hair. Long hair. I really gotta get my hair cut. Did I come in this way? Oh great, now I'm lost. I think it was this way. I will take all of that stuff. Get out of here. I want to make sure there's not any more things on the wall. Those I want. Wish I could scan those things. They're like the, the seagulls of this world. Ooh, I might be able to if I can get up here. Come down here. That's yeah, not gonna happen. I don't know what so what do we need do we need to just like kind of scan the area around this island, I'm guessing? That's what I'm gonna do. Look at all these fish. Yeah, I hear the Leviathan, I hear you. So is this is this tool for these things? Well, what do I do? What do I do till the thirty minutes? Like it says, the sunbeam's gonna arrive here. I'll head back and see which way I need to go. So how are how are you guys doing this evening? You guys doing all right? You should be able to find it in your tab place that shows the waypoint. Okay, so I'll look for Life Pod Seventeen. If I remember correctly, that was the one I like escaped from. Like, uh, I went to scan around it, and they had them shark things there. I'm out of here. <laughs> so do I do I need to worry about that timer? So I've already been here. Ow. Butthead. And I think I scanned for parts here. <clears throat> Technically, no. But you should go there just to see what happens. Translated for 
broadcast. Oh gosh. What is that supposed to mean? <clears throat> so my... Beacon manager... Life pod 17, this one. That... that's convenient. So I'll do some scanning. The sunbeam is the rescue ship coming to get you. So does it really come and get me? <clears throat> because I don't see the game ending soon, right? I've only been playing for like... Four or five hours? <clears throat> it gets there? Oh, it's probably gonna ruin it for me. Yeah, this was the place that I was like, uh-uh, because the sand shark things are down here, whatever they're called. that thing. At the time I was scared of them, but now I'm not not as as worried. <clears throat> so I need to look around here for sure, right? Ah, there it is. Alright, we'll go up and get some air. We'll go explore that thing. I think I have a battery on me to be able to replace this thing when it goes dead, right? Yeah. Of course it's gonna start getting dark. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Awesome, I got the uh, scanner room. <clears throat> yeah, this guy's way down here. And I mean way down here. Laser cutter fragment. Mobility, FYI. I saw two more Seamoth fragments, so you should be able to unlock it after you scan them. Uh oh, I must have missed them. I bet they were down here somewhere on the front side. Ah, probably something like this Seamoth fragments. Awesome, and. There's the other one. Sunbeam, no! Yes, I really do like streaming. What does the sunbeam mean? Nobody spoil the sunbeam? <laughs> oh boy.
30 seconds. I ain't got time for your 30 seconds. You'll have to find out. So do I need to be there? I've already been to the island. Just don't get lost inside. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. New blueprints synthesized. The scanner room. Awesome. <clears throat> I really want to see my reaction to being saved. I hope it's not bad. Man. Alright, I can always come back for this later. What's up, Pennywise, man? What's going on? Figured I'd hop back on and get some Subnautica done. Alright, so I'm gonna head back. Uh, get to the island ASAP. I am going to do that. As soon as I get a battery. I think I'm good on food. Yeah, I think it only took me maybe three minutes to get there or something like that. Earlier. With this thing. So I'm going to push it maybe eight minutes till. And push my way over there. Oh. My thing is dead. Like right as I get here. Still going though. Which is strange. Ah, I just now died. Make the sea moth, it's way faster. I will do. Let's see what it requires, though. Um, I'm guessing I can't make the sea moth here, right? Still needs the vehicle bay, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Um... Pennywise, man, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. Helping towards that goal. Yeah, this guy. Um, I gotta remember where this was at. I'll probably go back to that other one. The other beacon. This one got right here. And just make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, man, I don't think i played this since these habitat habitat things. I did. I thought this was a brand new game. I didn't even know it wasn't. That's kind of crazy. Tell how, uh, how much I know. It's like all I've been playing. All I, I can't believe I just ate that. I want to save that. Because I guess eventually you can, like, make, uh, make biomes and stuff. It's my titanium storage right here. This is everything else. There we go. Alright, let's get some food. Get some eyes eaten. 
So we still got 18 minutes. I wonder... Yeah, I, I don't have time. I probably... 18 minutes is like pushing it. We're going to the other thing, I'm guessing. That's my guess. Like, I can make this thing? I have everything to make it. It's the bay. It'll probably be streamed later on. Awesome. Going to look at a new base location. Sweet. So yeah, maybe this guy. We have a, l a few minutes. I think we can make it. It's not very far away, actually. I didn't understand how scanning the uh, parts actually worked, so I, when I did this originally, I didn't actually look for the parts to scan. And that kind of seems to be a big part of this. Yep, good job. Good job. You got me. So do I need to look for wreckage in here? Would there be a wreckage near this one? Um, other life pods can be found with an image that's in your data bank unless you just stumble across them. I have stumbled across quite a few of them. See, so yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember there being much around this. What is this thing? Ah, here's some stuff. I have something in it. Yep. <laughs> Booyah! That's exactly what I needed, right? <laughs> it's like I, I thought I missed something. Seamoth time. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. I don't even know what it does, but... Uh, we're going to find out. Just so we know we have a battery. I should have all the stuff. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. So, deployables. I need this. I need titanium, lubricant, and a power cell. I have all of that. I just need to find where my power cell's at. I think I put it in here. Power cell. Um. Titanium ingot. Right. Deployable. And a lubricant. It's over here, right? It's in this. Uh, make it to the island in no time with that. So, do I build it inside this mobile bay? No, no, no. I still got maybe... I still plan on doing it for streaming for maybe an hour or two hours. It all depends on how things go. Um, of course, there may be some breaks and stuff like that, but... Uh, right now it's fine so releasing no build it outside you drop it outside like a locker ok 
Okay. Okay, so I need titanium, another power cell, glass, lead, and lubricant. Okay, so it's not not that bad. And I can I can look at the recipe while I'm in here, so I I need to just make sure. Um, so I need lead. I need another lubricant, so I might have to go get those vines. Lead. I need another power cell, batteries, and silicon rubber. I'm gonna try. I think it took me like less than three minutes with my normal method. Okay, so we need two glass and we need the lubricant. Two glass. We have one glass. Time to go. So I'll get the lubricant, which shouldn't be hard. It's just these guys right here. I know I have the radio. It's probably telling me that it's coming close. I only need one more thing and then I have it though. And they're usually inside here. Really? None whenever I need them? Oxygen. Seriously, no crystals? Or no quartz? Salt. I'm gonna be so upset I can't find it. I got ten minutes. I got I gotta rush this man. Rush. I'm not seeing any at all. What is going on? Yeah, I don't I don't even know. There's some. Oh my goodness. I was about to say I'm going to have to just run for it uh with this thing because I wasn't going to make it. I think now we should make it. I need two to make a piece of glass. All right, all right. We gotta, we gotta rush this. Rush.
There we go. Okay, we got our piece of glass, and we can make the lubricant. Glass? What do we need for the lubricant? Oh, I need the seeds! Oh. I am going to make the... I'm going to get him. We've got it. We got this. We got this. Seven minutes. I've got plenty of time. Okay. <laughs> here I am rushing. You guys got me stressing here. It's supposed to be a relaxing, fun game. Here I am stressing. Lubricant done. I think that means we have everything, right? Ah, I do want to deposit this stuff. And... I'll just get rid of a few things. Did not mean to do that. Wow. Swimming is good for my glutes. Oh, it's got onboard storage. Oh, this is epic. Oh, sweet. So with this, I can go a lot deeper, right? This is so cool. I mean, I'm really liking this. <laughs> Until the ship comes to rescue him. 200 meters in the diving? But my oxygen, that's what I'm noticing. And this has a battery level? How does it ch get charged? Going below that will damage it and eventually destroy it. Okay. It seems pretty cheap though, it's not like it's that expensive. Okay, so with a battery, like a normal battery, the same way. Uh, oh, so this uses a power cell. So do I need to get this thing close, or do I need to leave it out here in the water? Do I want to be in the water when this happens? Oh, let me get, let me know. <sighs> so, we wait. We have three minutes. What do you guys want to talk about in three minutes? We get some time. I've already done the exploring. I've done a lot of exploring on this island already. Um, just park it near the shore, I guess. Eyes in the sky. So is this something that we can just like use to, can we break this? So you, you can't interact with stuff, right? You have to actually exit it to interact with things.
Um, I think it's stuck. Guys, it's stuck. <laughs> That's no fun. Oh, man. I guess I'll have to make another one. So we got two minutes. I'm guessing this alien building is going to shoot it down, right? This is a bad area. That's a really, like, alien looking place. So we stay here and wait. Oh, hitting it with a propulsion cannon. I didn't think about that. I'll try that. Can you pick up your sea moth with that? Oh, that is so cool how the moon moves. That's kind of interesting. You probably also never beached your sea moth as well. <clears throat> so look up in the sky, right? What are we going to encounter? You know, the suspense is kind of killing me. I have 35 seconds. I hear it. Oh, snap. What is going on? That's what I thought. I guessed it right. That alien thing is going to shoot it. Survivor. Atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? Oh, snap. There it is. Uh oh. It's a turret. That's exactly what I thought. The alien's gonna shoot it down, right? It's coming from the building? Oh, snap! <laughs> so much for rescuing. Dang. Look at it. So now what? Oh boy. Well, <laughs> Go to the building and find out. Um, how about not? I'm sure the building's gonna kill us. It's got like a door that's like protective. That is creepy as all get out.
Insert tablet? I don't have the tablet, so... I just found a tablet fragment, though. Okay. Because I, I can find that purple tablet close. I thought I'd just seen the uh, tablet up kind of behind the building. All right, let's head to this back to the sea moth. That means I'd have to swim around here, and I don't want to because the Leviathan's nearby. <clears throat> There's a path leading up. Well, I'll, I'll see. Oh, this is something. Right? Oh, this is the path. Okay. Ah, there it is. Why don't I just eat it? We are so far away from our ship. So is this, is this where we gain some kind of alien technology or something like that? I notice when I'm by this building, like, I get some major lag spikes. Like, we're pushing, like, 30 frames for some reason. Do I need a knife? Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database performing structural analysis. Self scan complete. Foreign bacteria counters reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Thirty frames is pretty good for Minecraft. <laughs> okay, so we I'm guessing this thing. Download data. Okay. Yeah, but it probably consumes your food and stuff, right? Your 
your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Okay. I'm kind of weary about picking up random objects. I might need it though. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. This is so weird. This is so like different. I wonder where this step, like where they went with this step, was like. <clears throat> At what point they're like, we're gonna involve aliens really deep into the storyline of Subnautica. Unknown language. <clears throat> translation. Okay, another one of those. I'm assuming it all gets decrypted. Honestly, the story of this game could easily become a movie. It's that good. Whoa. This is some, like, uh, Mass Effect stuff right here. I don't know if any of you guys played Mass Effect Andromeda, but this is kind of how they had some stuff like this. Is that water? I'm guessing that's water. Alien rifle? That's not... That doesn't make me happy. <clears throat> Probably isn't helpful I'm stealing all their green cubes either. Okay, so I probably need to go back to the water area, I'm guessing. And do some swimming. If that is water, I don't really know. So, like, inside this building, I get 60 frames. Easy. When I'm swimming underwater, 60 frames easy. When I'm outside this building, none. Like 30, 20. Up the ramps. All right. Guess it doesn't matter which way you go. Ah! Here's something. Another tablet. It's so weird how whenever you're, you're streaming, like, the music sometimes just gets in that mood that, like, really fits what you're doing. And I think this mu music, like, really fits with this area. See, like, what is with the fl frame drops, like, all of a sudden? So, this is a doomsday device. This is so, like, such sci-fi music. Ah, here's where we gotta get through another force field. I 
I'm actually really, really enjoying streaming. Like, I'm, I may end up doing this, like, every day. I don't know. For at least a couple of hours every night. I mean, I'm just, I'm really having a good time doing this. <clears throat> Plus, I'm, bec I'm really becoming addicted to this game. Like, to the point, I'll probably be playing it on another playthrough on my laptop. Use the force. This. I can't. I have no water. Oh boy. Oh snap! I thought he was gonna hit me in the face with that. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads: Warning: Infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Translating background broadcast. Okay. So this is done. No? We need to keep doing it again. I love being poked. Okay, so I think we're done here, right? Okay, so I have alien facility locations. I'm worried about now that my water is low, I could possibly die because I don't have any water on me. I don't have any food or anything. And I have to make my way all the way out of this thing. Okay, bobo trees give me water. I didn't see any bobo trees in here. I gotta remember which way's out. Oh, so this is like where their ship would be, I'm guessing. Is that what I think it is? I think that's what I think it is. Yeah, I think that's what I think it is. I'm getting out of here for that. That's so weird, this, the structures are just kind of crazy. That wasn't what I thought it was. I thought it was the Leviathan thing. <clears throat> okay. So, is this thing still on the beach? It's not. I guess the tide rose. What? Where's my Seba? It's gone. My sea moth is gone. I hope I have enough water. Oh, you guys said the bobo trees. That's right. Give me water. So, four. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. 
That's sad. We gotta make another one, though. And it's dark. So. Hopefully you guys are ready for it being dark. <clears throat> so we got a long ride ahead of us. Oh, boy. Yeah, they are pretty cheap. It did seem that way. It seems that, uh... Uh, best released game ever. It is a pretty cool game. Might as well grab those while I'm here. I'm gonna need them. And I think I needed lead. Let me get out of here. I think I needed lead. How come I don't break any bones? What are you talking about? I see that comment just a little bit ago. There's a lot of reading in this game if you want to know everything. Oh boy. So. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. <laughs> the captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regrouped one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Huh. <clears throat> Have you heard of the game, uh, Eco? It's on Steam, survival based game. No, I haven't. So I'm going to make another Seamoth. Fun. <clears throat> so I have the lead on me. I need titanium, power cell, and two more glass. Um, I need to actually go quartz hunting. I have the lead. Another power cell, which means uh, battery. Well, before going to those facilities, you'll need some, and I mean, oh, and by some, I mean an absolute lot of items going to deeper locations. So you mean like I need more, uh, more like food and, and drinks and stuff like that? <clears throat> okay, like upgrade, okay. Not much, only 1,300 meters. Oh, 
We need the power cell and two glass. Two batteries. <clears throat> also grab the quartz while I'm out as well. <clears throat> the blueprints are produced are procedurally generated so they won't always be in the same place each playthrough. That's interesting. <clears throat> Those stupid things, man. I cannot stand them. Why is the beginning, the quartz is so easy to find? When you want to find it, you can't find it at all. Just need to go further out, find it. The safe, sh the safe shallows close to Aurora. I have been around the shallows of Aurora. That is some place that <clears throat> I have been. It choked up. Fluid intake. I ain't got time for that. <clears throat> Drop that beat. Where's uh where's quartz readily found? Thought it was in these caves. <clears throat> Safe shallows, mostly right now. So I should have enough for these, right? I should make a few batteries. Uh, you should definitely get a lot of salt for bleach.
<clears throat> so there's the power cell. I think that's everything. So, yeah, second Seamoth of the day. Let's not lose this one. <laughs> Alright, so you can stay there. And you'll have a beacon on you. I'm going to get some water. I hope I have some. I do. Oh man, Zinulus, thank you man for the $5, and I will try not to beach this one. Definitely. Thank you for the donation, really appreciate it. Always helps out. Alright. So. Uh, we are all pretty well ready for some adventuring. And now we have this guy. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. That's so crazy feeling. Oh, I just hit the fish. Okay, so don't hit stuff. So hitting fish like this, does that actually affect? So that, that does affect. Okay. Okay, so it shows I have a Seamoth over there. Oh, I can oh, I can repair with a repair tool. That's awesome. The repair tool I don't have on me though. Rip Fishy McGee. <laughs> I did kind of just completely destroy him. I like the fact of not needing uh, oxygen. How epic is this, man? Those wells, man, are so cool. <clears throat> Looks like on the other side of this. So this is way down there. Can I even... venture down that far? I can't, I can't go down that far because 200 meters is where this limit is pushed, right? And I definitely can't get out of here.
Yeah, but leaving my sea moth, that'll kill me. Okay. Is there anything else down there that I need to worry about? Um... Head back to base to make the high capacity tank. Makes sense. I still think that uh, other sea moth is kind of a bug. that I can see over there. And probably a rebreather. <laughs> it glitches in the ground, but you can remove the waypoint so you don't have to, so so you don't have to be reminded of its loneliness. Should you don't have to remind me of my uh my epic fail. This game is just so, so cool. So green. Welcome aboard, Captain. This is Life Pod Four. Oh gosh. Close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. I've already found that one. Coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. I've already found that one. High capacity, two glass, uh, standard O2 tank, four titanium, and a silver ore. So we have silver. 
I need to find quartz, and it should be easy, easy-ish to see at night. Okay, take off that tank. Okay. I also need to find some of those other fish. Enter base. Base has an absolute ton of lockers. It's my organiza organization. That's how I organize my stuff. Come on. Rabbit Ray. Got to cram until you access a multi-purpose room. Exactly. Which... I don't remember, do I have... I have a scanner room. Adjust it up. Alright, um. One bleach makes two water bottles, each being worth 30. Do I have? Oh, okay. And how do you make bleach? Salt deposits. Salt deposits on either coral. <clears throat> coral tubes. There we go. 
<laughs> so there we go. It makes the life a lot easier. Because <clears throat> salt's pretty easy to find. So this does 30, where this does 20. There we go. Oh, so this is also food. <clears throat> okay, I'll remember that when I go back there. Alright. So, what do, what do we need to do? We're working towards getting that uh, high efficiency. So, we were needing glass. Right? Quartz. First, you need to make a battery. Because all our stuff is out of power. Back to finding some lovely quartz. Actually. Wait, one second. So we need not the ultra high Right? Or is it the ultra high capacity we're getting? No, no, we need the high capacity. Right? <clears throat> kind of got me messed up now, trying to figure out what we need. High capacity first. So there. <clears throat> okay, so we need two glass. That's where the, the pain's gonna come in because finding that quartz, we gotta find four pieces of quartz. I find it lurking through all these caves and stuff. Head towards the butt end of the Aurora, and you should find quartz in the safe shallows. Way there. Just don't, don't go too close to it. To it. I've already, that's actually where I encountered uh, the Leviathan thing. And it did attack me. And it almost completely killed me.
Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? Free food, man. I'm not going to complain. Get cooked. Just waiting out there, man. That was hilarious. Okay. So, we need our standard O2 tank. We need four titanium. Alright, and... We need the tank off of us. And there we go. So, can we not make this tank? We need four lithium, right? Wait, what'd I do? I made the high capacity one, right? What in the world did I make? What I do? What? I thought I clicked on that. Whatever. Okay. Um That means I just need what? Or titanium. Cannot believe I did that. Let me read. High capacity. That's what I made. Okay. So now... I have a high capacity. There we go. You know what? I'm going to put this one there. Okay. So, now I have 135 oxygen. What should we do with that? Oh, also I need to get my repair gun. Right here. It would be perfect if it had a storage hatch on it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, there are several different tanks you could probably use that one from a base tank to start from. Okay, so I probably need to head... Let me remove that from my... There we go. Life pod 19, right? How come I'm not seeing that?
One of the upgrades lets you store things in it. <clears throat> so I'm guessing I need to head back here, right? And because I have a bigger storage of oxygen. Whoa. I've not seen that yet. Okay, I can't do anything anyways. Ow. I hit a fish. I hit a little bitty fish, and then bam. Ten damage. I hit a wall? None at all. <laughs> the fish just bouncing off. Alright, I've been to this place before. Um, you should make a rebreather if you don't have one. What's a rebreather? I'll go make one. I didn't, I totally forgot about that. So we're heading back. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. These things are so cool. This one don't have anything on it. That's strange. Normally they look like this. That was weird. Oh, it's a baby? That's really cool. Man, this whole game is awesome, man. Back and forth with just <laughs> That's what I should name the stream. Welcome to Back and Forth with Chosen Architect. A wiring kit is two silver ore. All right, let's go silver hunting. <clears throat> no time to waste. We are going silver hunting. This direction.
thought you get it from, uh... Let me check. I wish this thing had a compass. This biome right here. Booyah! <laughs> well, we ended up getting our silver. There we go, we should be able to make this thing. We're getting close. Booyah. Alright. <clears throat> Gotta get situated. You're waiting for the Emperor to make contact? Oh boy. That, that sounds just as scary as I would think. You think I'll freak out? Should have grabbed some water. I'm gonna grab some water and make sure my food's maxed out. So with the radiation helmet, I'm de I need to keep both of them on me just in case, right? Okay, I'll be sure to get some water. You don't need the uh, raid suit really until you go to repair the Aurora. Welcome aboard, Captain. I wish you could interact with stuff in this ship. Is that an upgrade? So good looking, man. Still surprised by this game. It's so immersive.
<clears throat> you can interact with the prawn suit later down the line when you get it. You should name your sea moth uh, Victoria once you get the moon. Why? <laughs> What's Victoria? My sister in law is actually named Victoria. Okay, so it's the pawn prawn suit. Sweet. So we already have the moon pool, basically. Desk. Okay. Pawn suit. I did say that, didn't I? Office chair? I'm guessing these are all decorations, right? New blueprint acquired. Wonder if that's it. Reoxygenate. How do you get inside? I see. I don't have a cutter. My flashlight's dead, unfortunately.
<clears throat> so I think that's almost as much stuff as I can get, right? Oh, there's some stuff over here. Every flashlight, I <laughs> every flashlight I own has been dead since my kid turned three. Know the feeling. I don't let mine play with flashlights. No, my luck, they would smack themselves with it, and they have serrated edges on the edge on the ends of them. So that would be no good. I think that's about it, until we get a cutter. There's one more fragment in the wreck. Okay, either a battery or a paracel. Okay. It was inside the building? One of two, though. So I need to make a cutter. Search other wreck. I think I need to cut it open, right? The laser cutter. Yeah, but I need to unlock the blueprint, right? <clears throat> See, it's not unlocked. <clears throat> what in the world? Oh, 
Okay. Um, <laughs> whatever that was. Um, awesome. <laughs> okay. So. That was the Emperor. <clears throat> So I'm guessing it's foe, not friend. <laughs> You're not allowed that information. Ow. Okay, I hit something. Probably need my headlights on. So pretty much head towards the Aurora. I, I really need to, now that I have this thing. <clears throat> I don't know how well this music fits into it. It's got a nice beat though. I think we can head towards the Aurora. That wreck near Life Pod 23 has a crap ton of blueprints inside. What's 23? Get it, girl.
Where is... Okay, there it is. So radiation detected. That's where I need the helmet, right? Stranded on water, almost shitting my pants every time I find something new. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so n open this to find literally nothing in here to scan. Oh. Target 2, oh man, thank you for following. Really appreciate that. Alright. So. That was interesting. That was something I hadn't done before. <laughs> I don't think I have a battery on me, do I? A dead battery. Sometimes these have batteries in them, that's why I was checking that. Not today!
Man, thank you, little bones. Thank you. And hopefully your stream was good. He is now hosting with 11 people. If you guys are new here, which uh, I don't know if you've seen yesterday, um, I was in his chat there for a little bit. Um, yeah, welcome, welcome. We are not very far into this, and this is my first time playing, so... Looking for stuff. Let's see. If I stay very, very still... Okay, he'll leave me, he'll leave me alone. So we have the cannon upgrade. Look, we don't need these things anymore. There are, uh... Let's see. A lot of Reaper Revi Re uh, Reaper Leviathans close to the Aurora, so watch your step. Yeah, I, I noticed whenever I was like, venturing like towards the front of the ship, they were definitely there. So didn't you guys say there was like a... Uh, a 23... Your message wasn't posted due to conflicts with the channel moderation settings. What? My message wasn't posted. <clears throat> what are you talking about? I don't have a uh, notification set up for followers, unfortunately, yet. Or not followers, for, uh... Oh, boy. For, uh... Hosts. Alright, man. Well, have a good one. And thank you for the host. Really appreciate that. Okay, he went right through the sand. That's what I want to stay away from. And are these bad guys too? My guess is not. I guess they're not bad guys. Jelly Ray. Those are so cool. Yay, no buffering. <laughs> I'm just trying to scan everything I can. Like, what is this? Yeah, just casually swimming right through, directly through the sand. Ridiculous. Alright. Ow. Don't mind, don't mind me. Ow. Just hitting, hitting stuff. There's like just random stuff floating. A 
Sly Cyclop Bridge. A slight cyclop hole fragment. Thirty-three percent. Mmm, the cyclops. Ah, oh, we have a radio transmission. If only I had a radio nearby. Okay. Cyclops Bridge. So what was important about those fragments being over here? Such a random location. I hit a fish. The freak. No wonder it was after me. I was near its eggs. Creatures' eggs are useless right now, they just take up space. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Those eggs are everywhere over here, though. What in the world? Okay, I'm assuming I'm pretty far out. Ow. I don't know about you guys, but this is pretty cool. I actually like this song. Is this the same one we've seen earlier? This looks different. Battery charger. Guess what? That looks like a laser cutter fragment to me. 
Hopefully we find the rest. Okay, I'm gonna get some air. Making sure there's nothing else, like, there. Thing is just randomly hitting hitchhiking. You can open that door. Can I? Get some more air. Said the other one, the other door. I don't see another door. Yellow handle, I'll go back and look. Ah. Guess I need a laser cutter. That I don't have yet. Oh boy. Alright, let's get back in this thing. We'll search for fragments with this. Is that a fragment? I will make one. I will make a flashlight. That was a bioreactor fragment. Calorie intake recommended. 
All right, so we've done some adventuring. You probably did, didn't notice, but you turn your head every time. <clears throat> oh, really? I do. That's probably that's hilarious. That's weird. Okay, so yeah, it's about time to head back. All right, so we're gonna head back. We're actually not that far away. <clears throat> I am starving at this point. Not even just the game. Almost feels like my wife's made, uh, Coffee. Uh, once you can see inside those wreckages, I think you'll miss let's you'll miss less fragments to scan. Once I can see inside them, yeah. I'll make a battery. I'll do that right now. I'll get that fixed in that flashlight right now. There we go. Vital signs stabilizing. I'm about to go food hunting. Bladder? Or baller? What am I reading? Vital signs stabilizing. I bet. I bet. I bet I feel good now. Bye. All right. Yeah, place the grab ball and wait. So we can make upgrades. Modification station. Can we? I bet we can't make these things yet, right? This is only for making vehicles, right? Modification station. What do we have for holes now? Okay, so I can make a scanner room and a moon pool room. I want that multi purpose room.
Uh, mod station made using the habitat builder. So we need three titanium, a computer chip, and copper wires for that. Did we, didn't we have a radio transmission? Yeah, I thought we did. What was that even about? So that unlocks some blueprints or something? Okay, so we have <clears throat> the main thing we need to make, I guess, is a moon pool. Do we have lead? I have one lead. I highly recommend the uh, Subnautica playthrough by Neebs Gaming on YouTube. It's hilarious, and they add that radio message as an Easter egg. Pretty sweet. Well, I think we have reached about the end of the stream. I know. It's sad. I know. Um, but stick around. We're going to find somebody to raid. Don't worry about that. We're uh, going to stick to that. I love doing that. It's always fun. Um, but anyways, let's see. We got a lot done, and I really appreciate all you guys' help. Um, I will let you guys know in Discord when I'm going to stream, if I'm going to stream that day. Best way to figure that out, so I recommend jumping on my Discord. There's a link down in the description below. Um, all of this Twitch channel stuff. So uh, if that's something you're interested in, I recommend doing that. Also, I have a YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed, I highly recommend subscribing, and really appreciate that. Um, I post daily uh, Minecraft videos, and uh, be pretty interesting. So... Let's find us uh, someone to raid. Let's find somebody to raid. So, let me hop on the Twitch, and we'll f we'll find somebody for sure. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to do Bob Ross. That's for sure. Um, do we have anybody that I know currently streaming? Hmm. Not anybody I know directly. So let's look up Subnautica. And I'll drop you guys with uh, somebody who's already playing this. So what do we have? Um, could be anybody. This guy looks pretty nice. He looks like a pretty cool fella. So, uh... We have... Firing... One Empire. Or Firing on Empire. Right? No, Firing Ton Empire. That's his name. That's the channel we're going to raid. So let me go ahead and do that. So, hopefully you guys are ready to join in there. And I'll see you guys next stream. Can't wait.